Thank you for choosing to fly Articulate Space Tours. Today's in-flight audio device is brought to you by Soundcore Liberty 3. Thirty-two hour battery time and a level of style that we've come to associate with the articulate brand, fitting comfortably and securely. The Liberty Three Bros deliver its sound through ACAA 2.0 technology, which means you're hearing from an exclusive coaxial dual driver technology that provides a sound stage that's wide detailed, coupled with its advanced noise cancelling called Ear ID, which means should you find yourself on a, in the cockpit of a Starship cruiser, the headphones will dynamically adjust its noise cancelling settings to the appropriate level of noise cancellation, affording you quality listen. Should you wish to purchase an additional pair for friends and family, please consult the comment section of your data cube. There will be a link for future purchases. Enjoy your flight and enjoy unparalleled sound quality, courtesy of sound. Welcome aboard Articulate Space Tours. Before we begin flight preparation, could you just hand me your boarding card, please? Excellent. Just pop this into machine. Welcome to first class. On your way to Earth 2.0. Happily, it is our first stop, and something tells me you are going to remember this flight. As you are first class passenger, this affords you the very rare and exclusive opportunity to sit. seats. Our flight preparation and flight sequence is resourceless, which means it would be yourself and I, as your butler, sitting at the rear with nothing but the viewfinder. It's breathtaking. All the launch sequence is done prior so the flight deck is quite literally the two of us. Is this something you'd be interested in? Excellent. Computer, register go for first class VIP. Flight sequence full. Before we get you buckled up, I'd like to offer you two very special refreshments. The first is our Heaven Blend. This, this is a tonic that was popular.
popularized many centuries ago and outlawed for want of a better word it is a natural or at least naturally occurring liquid bottled on a very far distant star it provides the imbiber with a deep sense of relaxation, sense of well-being. In fact, the reason it was outlawed was because it was thought at the time that happiness shouldn't be so easily accessible, that it was discouraging, demotivating people. Thankfully, such needless restrictions need not apply articulate space doors. These are bottled and left. still an age for 164 years providing a near clear almost translucent appearance thick smell and a decadent full bodied aroma Heaven's blend is as refreshing as it is thirst quenching, considered the perfect aperitif, the ultimate refreshment. Yours exclusively unarticulate space to various tunes. I mentioned two. The second is something I can absolutely guarantee you will never have tried. And here in pre-flight deck, you don't typically serve it. This is a jellyfish reduction. It comes from a very particular planet called Rikatoka. And what you must do, there is a small coin of a golden substance. Tradition says to consume efficiently and effectively. To maximize flavor, it must be licked as if you were licking a, an icicle pop. Keep it undignified, perhaps. Here and here. You're on vacation. If you can't relax and feel at ease here, and I have a feeling after the heavens blend, you're feeling uh, that sense of anxiety just drift away. Wonderful. Wonderful. Give it a try. It's extremely sweet. Feel free to, to wash it down with the heaven's blend. This is the trifecta. The RT. 
articulate experience, decadent food. Maximum relaxation. Welcome aboard. Let me take the glass from you. And if you follow me, we'll be stepping onto flight deck. We'll look at you strapped up and prepared for the next leg. Welcome to the cockpit. Let me just grab your Liberty 3s. And we can drown out some of that bridge noise in 3, 2, 1. Excellent. Just make sure you are securely strapped in. Good. Now, as you will have seen, we are currently orbiting Earth. Earth 1.0, I should probably add. The first destination will be the Hyglink Star Strike. The Hyglink Star Strike is a beautiful vision to cast your eyes upon. And from the comfort of your super suite, I think you're going to like it. Think of space illuminated by a gentle yellow light, cresting waves of wispy glass. From there, we head on to twin planets that we taxi alongside before heading to Earth 2.0. Now we would be encouraged to maybe uh, enjoy our tasting session in room with a view of the twin planets but it's entirely your choice now I will be taking my seat next to you in anticipation of takeoff it'll be quite loud but entirely exhilarating I'll be communicating via my mic into your Liberty 3 Pros. Relax. Sit back and enjoy the first blast hyperspeed. And this is the only point you'll hear the thrusters vibrating because the ship is made in such a way that thruster vibration concentrated almost entirely on main bridge where we are currently sat. Enjoy. I'll be right here if you need anything. Once exiting hyperspeed, I will escort you to your suite.
Welcome to your very own space suite. Now there's a lot to be said for the view, but the view is only one of many facets we offer here at Articulate Space. Here in the master bedroom, you can expect a super king-size bed, panoramic views of our beautiful, beautiful destination, and perhaps even more beautiful journey, coupled with 24-hour butler service by way of myself. If there's anything that you can even think about, dream up ordering food, beverage, or anything else, you let me know. Now I happen to know you were hoping to sample sushi. And of course, sushi was uh, something of a cornerstone of a, a very old and ancient race from Earth 1.0 thousands of years, in fact, and the art of sushi was lost for hundreds, if not thousands of years, but courteous of our chefs revitalized and brought back to life. What we prepare for you today very first meal on board, ready for you at a moment's notice, once you've climatized, maybe taken a walk around the ship, give me a call and we'll sit down to your first sushi tasting session, led by myself of course, and if you've never experienced one of our tasting sessions, But for this now, can I get you anything to drink? Of course, I'll make sure we have a endless supply of Heaven's Blend for you. And Heaven's Blend will be present at the sushi tasting. When you need me, call computer, Matt, and I'll be at your beck and call. evening again. Feeling hungry? Of course. I have with me the first of three courses. This is Dragon Sushi. Now, Dragon Sushi Six seemingly identical looking pieces of sushi, each with a subtle difference, and each with a not so subtle difference. Our tasting sessions operate under a very simple premise. We each share an identical board, and I will talk you through all of the offerings, their flavor profiles, relevant sauces, condiments and accompaniments, and of course flavor profiles, what we can expect from the dish. The dragon sushi will be followed by the elite sushi, including a wagyu offering. Now wagyu beef has been extinct for 
approximately 1800 years. sushi a familiar taste but the difference between the six pieces is actually hidden in the rice before we have our first piece what I would suggest you do and this is merely a suggestion one of our hot towels cleanse the hands take one of the small trays This was thought to be one of the fundamental accompaniments. flavor very high in potassium so it's advised to use sparingly also not to lose the flavor of the sushi we start from this side and we call this only one side of the sushi into the soy. Now this is your vacation, you can do as you like. suggest 
refreshing the palate, if you allow me to pour you a glass of Heaven's Blend. Nothing quite like delicate balance of Evans Blend following Dragon Sushi. I can see you are eager to proceed, of course. Now stage two offers something different. Again we touch one side to the soy sauce. The crunch of red pepper. lends itself to a more subtle offering this time around. The scent of a floral note that leads you very delicately down a different path. Stage two of the dragon's sheep. Simple, but so delicious. Mm. Now the reason it's called Dragon Sushi was quite literally because it was curated in the time of dragons. And our creation, our homage, to the dragon sushi, I think is completed masterfully. And of course, we can't know exactly how it should have tasted. That information is lost to the ages, right back to the Dang Dynasty, thousands and thousands of years ago. Please, let's move on. To the third step. And this time will be coupled with something called wasabi. Now wasabi hmm. wasabi is going to be an interesting experience for you. Touch. Nothing more than touch. A single side in the soy sauce, if you prefer. Or without. Mm. Enjoy. Mm. The wasabi meets you before even taking a bite, and it dies down. Flavor becomes sleek, almost flat, and on the third fourth chew, as the rice breaks up, it comes roaring back with a familiar warmth, not uncomfortable. Mm. Beautiful. How are you feeling? Mm. Of all the marvelous 
marvelous. Engineering accomplishments that go into creating a ship such as this. The food is what sells it for me. Let us proceed. Now the fourth can be paired with the wasabi or the soy. But sometimes it's nice just to have as it is. And in absence of both soy and wasabi, the focus immediately moves to the dragon. so well by the crunch. And the amalgamation of what I think is saffron in this particular step. A saffron and fruise rice. Culminates effortlessly. Tell by your smile that you are appreciating. Our chefs will be extraordinarily pleased. Two more to go. For me, the fifth is wasabi only. And I'll tell you why. what's called a golden flail spice and the flail was seemingly married to wasabi and a softer bed for the rice and the wasabi just cuts through at the end and just layers the tongue with a warm almost comforting sensation it is our pleasure in the Dang Dynasty ruled for many generations. It said at least in our scholars lore the dragons still roamed the earth until long after the Dang Dynasty passed. It is unknown to us what caused the seemingly extinction of the dragons. But what is known as we make our way to our final piece. The art
have that smile that we long to see here, that we work and hope to provide. It's my pleasure. Now, we can let that settle. I would suggest wiping the fingers on our hot towel. Now, the next course is made up of three choice selections. We limit to three because the flavor in each is so intense that it's rare that a client can even finish two. Given your passion, I'd like to give it a go. Let's proceed. Now these are called the Three Kings. On the far side, you have the Wagyu. It is my recommendation that we start with the asparagus and it's parcel together beautifully. Consider yourself very fortunate. You are one of only three people on the entire ship that has access to asparagus. Now, without sounding exclusionatory, asparagus for a multitude of reasons is particularly difficult to replicate. Machines programming have just been unable to replicate the flavor profile because it is so complex. And with it coming from a simple plant structure, it proves very challenging. Yes, if 
you'd like to try some more asparagus. We can serve it with any meal. Um, it's just difficult to the point that we can only offer it to our VIPs. Excellent. Now the Wagyu or the caviar. Entirely your choice. Now, I would suggest having this unadorned. Really quite extraordinary. Wow. Flying through space. Sampling the finest of foods. Not just in the galaxy. In the known reaches of space. Mm. And to you. Our tasting sessions are not for everybody. There are those that do not like the sound without anything else. There are those that prefer to eat alone, and there are those that prefer the freedom. But many, many have flown with us just to experience our tasting sessions because the food is just so important. Speaking of which, The value of this single piece of sushi could buy you a six story, 12 bedroom, and a visa. And it's because of things like this individual moments of appreciation from us to our clients that we're able to afford the reputation that we stand by. This is on us. Enjoy. The most surprising thing about the King Caviar is one, how it melts seemingly immediately when it touches the tongue. How it's surprisingly not as salty as you expect, giving it a sea egg. Mm. But the most surprising part Similar fashion to the dragon sushi, just masks the tongue with a beautiful flavor. Wow. 
If you'd like to order more of the, the King Caviar, just let me know. And we'll have it brought to you right away. Anything that you like. Anything. Any amount of food, any amount of beverages, whatever you like. It's VIP. We are beyond. Now, we have one final course, which is, of course, the dessert course. But before we proceed to the dessert, and if it interests you, you could retire to one of our viewing decks with one of our many bars. And if you're interested in sampling our whiskey or bourbon selection, Oh, which I think you are interested. I think you'd be pleasantly surprised. And if you give it about 30 minutes, we might be cresting the waves of Alalana. Alalana is a, an unusual area of space that a certain amount of atmosphere has gathered around a particular star that we traverse. beautiful. It's like you're on a sea vessel cresting the waves. I digress. For the dessert, I'd like you to make a selection for me. I'm going to show you three different symbols, and I'd like you to pick which one you prefer. The first The umbrella, the circle, and the square. This is an old, old Asian game that kids would play to pass the time. They would bake sugar and trace out the outlines of certain objects. And the idea is to save the centerpiece and either break off or eat away the outside. And if you were successful, if you didn't snap the center shape, well, your life was changed forever. A great choice. You can keep that for later. Now, do not feel obligated to eat both of these. Chopsticks are not essential. But allow me to introduce you to heaven. This is a six-tiered triple chocolate with Volusian Caramel Center brownie. Now a brownie will be new for you. And while a brownie isn't originally Asian delicacy, the Volusian Center actually is because it was originated from a flower that was native to far, far East Asia. I encourage you be met by his promised heaven. Heaven. The Volusian Center. 
brings a softer, smoother finish to this brownie. But the overall level of sweetness The sugar is actually growing on board our greenhouse deck and it's layered and folded six times into the most radiant. sweet but never once uncomfortable it is my absolute pleasure I've been conducting our tasting sessions for many, many years. And I can say without prejudice, without any trace of dishonesty, you have been my favorite companion. I'm very excited to show you what we have in store for you for the rest of your time. I think you might find our Japanese vodka particularly tantalizing. I'm very excited to see. I will get this cleared up if you want to take a shower, have a wander around, head up to the holodeck perhaps. Ship is yours to command. Within reason. <laughs> it's my pleasure. If you need anything at all, computer, 